As a precondition for peace in the disputed area, it has started anti-terrorist operations in the Nagorno-Karabakh region and demanded the complete withdrawal of ethnic Armenian troops. Russian peacekeeping forces in the area were invited to act and halt Azerbaijan's full-scale aggression on the local populace by Armenia's foreign ministry. Fear and gunshots fill the streets of Stefanaked. Mortars bombarded Nagorno-Karabakh's capital city, causing fear to spread across the area. Breakaway area is acknowledged by the world community as being a part of Azerbaijan, yet it is governed by ethnic Armenians and has strong ties to the latest source of tension is the ongoing blockade by Azeri forces of the Latin Corridor, an area of land linking Armenia to Nagorno-Karabakh, preventing those two countries from communicating with each other. This area of land is used to transport goods between Armenia and Nagorno-Karabakh, and its blockade by Azeri forces has prevented those two countries from communicating with each other since the early 1990s after the fall of the Soviet Union. Russia, one of the supporters of the truce, has pleaded with the two nations to put an end to the conflict. Russia urges the disputing parties to immediately cease all military operations, put an end to the bloodshed, and resume political and diplomatic negotiations. Outside crowds gathered outside the Armenian parliament in Yerevan to express their opposition to the government's decision to resume military operation, as tension between the two nations once again escalates into hostilities. If you loved the video please hit a like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel.